having a moment. Martha's crying. Look at the face on that. She's crying. It's ridiculous. It's because she's tired. Because they're charging us £40 per bike to fit the tyres on. It's not just that. Like... It's, it's everything. The whole place is expensive. And yeah, just money is the devil. I keep trying to... Martha's more tired than me. She doesn't let off of this. But she's way more tired than me. Or I shouldn't say I shouldn't say tight all the time. She's more sensible than me with money. I've got to the point of us travelling now where, like, if it makes the experience, I'll spend the money. Whereas Martha's still very level-headed. So yeah, it's just one of these things that happens behind the scenes that I'm trying to capture. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, as you can see here. It's still raining, and we're about to go ride for another seven hours. Which we'll enjoy when we're on the bike and we're all packed up, but now we're having a bit of a moment. I'm just, I just want to be able to get something and it not cost an arm and a leg. Like, we had some peanuts for tea and I'm just... Uh, we had some peanuts for tea and we could have picked up a pizza last night, but we would never have done it because no. it, it was like 15 quid for a pizza. And then, to top it off, <laughs> my little brother's at work and he's just sent this photo in and put... All right for two quid, and it's just some. Can you see that? It's just some bacon, sausage beans, on and a hash brown, and it's just sent me over the edge. Because <laughs> it cost two quid. It probably, co <laughs> probably cost about twenty. We couldn't even get them ice creams for two quid. No. Oh, it's just. I will look forward to getting little back. Put it that way. Anyway, we're gonna stop crying and pack up and head out on this rain. It has given it to stop raining today, so that's hopefully true. We'll see. It was easier for us to have breakfast outside than try and do it inside because we've also had a lot of condensation because of our wet stuff being in there with us last night. So it's fine, it is what it is. We have looked at the forecast and it's meant to be a dry day, but not until about 11, 12. So we still need to crack on. So that's what I'm doing. Made breakfast outside on this picnic bench. Just got some music, yogurt, and a bit of banana for a little bit of a change. And then I'm just brewing the coffee. And we're just gonna have a breakfast stood up because the benches are really wet. And I also think there's like this little, tiny little gnat. And I swear they're like nipping my face because my face feels like it's on fire because they keep getting near me. I don't know. I don't want to moan too much <laughs> because we can't do anything about this situation. We're just going to make the most of it. So I think a bit of food will help considering our horrible, horrible lack of tea last night. So I have this, hopefully feel more human. And then Mitch will probably tell me what the plan is for the day. Okay, we're all packed up. It's still raining. Hopefully it stops raining so that we can put the cameras back on our chin. I've had to pull over and put the GoPro on, even though it's still raining a little bit, because we're just riding past so much cool stuff that I just want to capture on camera. Like, look at this. Just pulled over to put it on, because there's just this massive glacier hanging off the side of this mountain here. And these views are just coming like every 10 minutes now, so I can't have this off for any longer. How is the vibes now, Moss? Now we're on the bikes, you all right? I was just crying listening to music. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell if I'm happy, tired, just emotional. I don't know. It's just in my thoughts. But this is really cool. We've just also not been able to talk to one another because Mitch didn't charge his car though. And it won't be that charged now, to be honest. So that's why I was listening to music on my own. I've just realised as well that where we stayed last night, we didn't actually properly show on camera because it was so wet when we pulled up but it was just this picnic area that was just at the side of the main road but what it did have was some information boards which we're talking about how this was all formed from the ice age 
and the glaciers themselves are remnants from the Ice Age, which I just think is absolutely mad that that could have been formed tens of thousands of years ago. Even though the weather forecast looked promising for us this morning, the moment we made a turn from one valley to the next, the rain started and it was heavy. So off the GoPro came again as we made our way up another scenic pass we had on our route. We'd been told that this was the best mountain pass in Norway, so we were staying optimistic, but being 700 meters above sea level and pretty damp, we were getting really cold. So, so cold. We're gonna have to make a decision, aren't we? What to do? And we quickly decided that today was just not the day to try and push on. After taking in the views as long as we could without keeping our bodies moving, we headed for the closest spot to get warm and pitch the tent. We just put the tent over there and the ground sheet over there because they're both absolutely soaked. Like it's literally wet through. And as soon as we hung them up, it started raining. I don't want to come on here and complain, but I just had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> just everything from start to finish. I feel like we need a violin playing every single time Mark speaks today because she's in one of them moods. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in better spirits. But I am tired, that's why we've finished early today, so... Anyway, hopefully it stops raining soon, so we can start making tea. I'm ready for a hot chocolate. You'll never believe what just happened. We were putting up the tent and then obviously it started raining. And we were both sat here and a woman walked past and she gave me a big smile and I smiled back. And it was one of them smiles, you know, where you feel sorry for the person. And I'd give the exact same smile if I saw someone else trying to dry stuff in the rain. And um, she came over to us, and I didn't know what she was going to say. And she just came over and handed us a big bag of crisps and just said, you look like you need these more than we do in the rain. And I say I nearly started crying. I just had to like, walk away from her. But um, yeah, that's just made my day. There is some kind people in the world. Just. Uh, Can I smoke now, please? No, I'm eating my crisps. <laughs> Alright, I was going to apologise for my appearance, but I feel like if you've been here since the start of this trip, you've seen me in all sorts, so it is what it is. But I thought I'd give you a little camp tour now that the rain has stopped and we're more settled. So this is what we've got. So we've got the bikes over here, tent there, and then we've got a little picnic bench there. And then the tunnel that we came out of is, is this. This is the tunnel. And then there is the main road just, just there. But mountains all around. This is actually classed as a picnic area on Park for Night, which is an app that we've been using, which we always used in our van, but we have been using it as well to find camp spots here in Norway. Like I said, this is a picnic spot on there, but people have stayed here and it's worked perfectly for us because they are allowed, you're allowed to wild camp here. So unless there's a sign that clearly states that you're not, we're fine. And then just here is this lovely little river. Going all the way down. If you guys have been here from the start, the start, you will have seen when we camped in the Pyrenees in our blue van, our first ever van. And this reminds me of that camp spot a lot. And I know for a fact that water will be freezing. I'm not even, I'm not even getting in. Don't even, no, not even a thought. So yeah, that's our little camp spot. I'm much happier because we've got food on the go and it smells amazing. Honestly, we have been eating fine and you know, there's been no complaints on the food because we'll, we'll eat anything. But the smell of like the aromatics and the fragrance from just a jar of curry sauce is insane to the nostrils. We decided to have our tea and a quiet night so the next day we didn't have a repeat of today's emotions. Good morning, we're all packed up again and ready to hit the road. Today is actually the last day that we're going to be riding the scenic roads in Norway. After today we're going to stop over in an airbnb but that's on the way to oslo which is on the way out of the country towards the swedish tt 
So hopefully the weather's good to us today and we can enjoy the last few good roads. We've got about five and a half hours of riding to do. So if we stay dry all day, it'll be something short of a miracle. Martha? <laughs> I was just going to say that tea was really delicious last night. I ate way too much food. Uh, and the reason we didn't film after tea is because it turned into a campsite here. Like, literally, as we sat down to eat, loads of vans turned up. There's still two here now, so we got a bit camera shy and went to bed. But I feel pretty good. I just don't want any rain, but I feel like that's all we talk about. It's yeah. the weather, so I apologise. Our first stop today is going to be a supermarket so we can get some food. We haven't had any breakfast this morning, so we're both pretty hungry and it's a ticking time clock until that turns to Martha being hangry. No, that's not true. Yes, it is true. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, please, weather stay good today. We're going through Hardinger today. Is it Hardinger? Hardinger? Hardanger, yeah, which is meant to be one of the most beautiful parts of where we are now and the fjords are meant to be amazing. You're meant to be able to see glaciers on top of the mountains. So hopefully it stays like this. I'll be very sad if our last day turns into a repeat of yesterday. had an absolute win inside this supermarket. First off, we were eyeing up these cakes, these marzipan cakes, and they were way out of our budget. And we got around to the 50% section, and there was one in there, 50% off. And I've got a sushi bowl, 50% off. And it's just got a crispy duck crispy wrap. Crispy duck wrap, 50% off. And then we get to check out, and there's free coffee where you and can sit table. down. Yeah. So, cheers. <laughs> what a win. How happy are you right now? Mm -hmm. This is dashing rubber. <laughs> when I say that we've stopped caring all together about us on this trip, this is exactly what I mean. Mitch is currently just stripping in the Kiwi supermarket car park because he's been drying his socks on the outside of his bag. And is now putting on a fresh pair before we... They're not dry. They're more dry than my other one. Yeah, our boots are still really wet. Um, I just couldn't be bothered, so I'm just dealing with it today. But Mitch is uh, swapping them out. But I tell you what, Kiwis have gone to the top of our list now that you can get free coffee. <laughs> that is one thing for sure. Feeling so much better. Ready to go take on this amazing mountain pass. It's not a mountain pass. Oh. It's not? So it's fjords. Oh, fjords. Okay. Well, I'm excited to get back on the road now. Right, Marth, I'm feeling good. Me too. I'm feeling caffeinated and on a bit of a sugar high. <laughs> now, these are my favourite kind of roads, though. I love the sweeping motion of the bike. It's like my favourite thing to do when you get a tight one. But yeah, this road's really cool. So far on this road, the landscape hasn't been anything more exciting than what we've already seen and I'm hoping that changes as we go down, but this bridge does look pretty cool. I'm not sure what the view looks like that way. Which sounds kind of daft to say because obviously everything is so beautiful and probably from the video it'll everything will look super cool, but we, obviously we've been riding so much. Oh yeah, it is sick actually. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's a shame about them clouds over there because then you'd be able to see the top of the mountains. But yeah, everything just becomes a bit more normal, which is so daft. Wow. The water as well. 
would be bright blue if it was sunny right now. I think what the issue is, is why this is a little bit underwhelming, is we are potentially being robbed of a nice view. All of the big mountains where potentially the glaciers are, are being covered by this the cloud. All right, we're getting on the ferry. It's already here. We've got into good timing. I hope this works. We've been having a bit of trouble with our um, number plate recognition on these new set of bike, uh, new set of ferries. But I think we've ended up actually getting a couple of ferries for free. We definitely got one yesterday for free because it didn't register. Hello. We, yeah, we both have ferry pay. Have you? It would say you've got it. Yeah, you're missing the one. D A two one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why these are different to the Tron, the other ones that we were getting, but they are. We've got the waterproofs on because it's just started spitting. Got a couple of hours riding, so I'm praying we don't to get too wet. Although tomorrow it is given 38 mil of rain. Yeah. This is such a pretty view that I didn't expect to see in Norway. We've got apple orchards on the sides as well as this. Yes. Oh my god as well as them also growing Morello cherries. And then you've got a fjord right there, the mountains behind. It's really nice. Oh, and honey. Mitch has got a really sore bum today. He can't seem to stretch it out. So he's not standing up because he thinks he's better than anyone else. <laughs> oh, pigs. Wow, it's a really diverse neighborhood. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, trying to trying to stretch it out because you can't, you can't seem to stretch it. Wow. I feel like if I was to draw a fjord, I'd draw like that. How they're all coming down and then like in. That looks really cool. how quickly the weather can change in this country. Ten minutes ago, you could not see anything of the sort. Now, you can barely even see the mountains in front of you. Look, oh, it's getting even thicker, and that's all rain. We're riding right towards it. This fjord that we're following, we're following it all the way to the end until it turns into a tiny little tail. And if we stay on this right side, we might just miss that. It's clear over there. Luckily, we managed to skirt away around the rain and headed into an industrial town called Odder. At the mouth of the fjord in the middle of the town sits a zinc smelter, which produces 200,000 tonnes of zinc per year. It was partly a shame that this was sat in such a beautiful site, but it was the first thing like this we'd seen in the whole time of riding through the country. Wow, it's a massive rig that is. After we'd passed through, we started to head up towards a camp spot deep in the hillside forest. Wow. Is it up there? Yeah. Ooh, bit of off-roading. Oh my god, my rear tire is really losing traction. How much further up do we go?
bloody hell, I can't believe people have been bringing the vans. Oh my god, you won't believe it. There's someone up here. No. Oh, it looks sick as well. <laughs> How is there someone up there? <laughs> After all that. That's a shame. Although, even though where, where he was parked didn't look very flat. Right. Where was that plant be? Do you reckon? Alright, so camp is all set up. Luckily we saw this place as we drove past to try and go to the other place. And it's worked out pretty well for us. Mitch is determined to have a fire. He's been watching a lot of Outdoor Boys since we've been away, so that's... That's what he's um, doing because he wants a fire. Whereas I personally feel like shit. And I don't know why, every time, it's been happening like for the past two days now, every time I bend down and get back up, I'm really starry eyed. I've just had a massive like hot flush as if you're about to be sick. Hence being like all the way down in my skin. And I just feel, feel yeah, really rough. And my elbows <laughs> have been really hurting whilst riding. I've taken some ibuprofen but I don't know I've been changing my riding position but right now as well yeah I'm just just not having a good time with the the pain of and discomfort of riding. I'm hoping the Airbnb tomorrow will sort that. I'm definitely going to do some yoga and stretching in there but for now I just want to sort of rest whilst it's not raining and we can. Mitch asked if I wanted to forage with him but I declined the offer because I really can't be asked to be, to be completely honest. I was gonna show you camp before I started just moaning at the camera. Really apologize about that. This is what we've got. The bikes are there, tent here, and then there was already a little fire pit. Hence the reason for wanting a fire. So Mitch is already starting to collect. But this is a nice little quiet spot. Yeah. Our last night camping in Norway. Crazy. I was going to film Mitch starting the fire, but he's already gone and done it. I'm well proud of myself so far. It's probably going to all go downhill from here. But I said to myself that I'm going to try and start it without using anything that we've got, apart from a lighter, because I'm not psycho. So I got a bit of tree bark. I got some little twigs that were off a of dead pine. And now I've got bigger sized sticks. So we'll see if we make it to the big sticks. Probably just killed it. Though. Yeah, it goes out. <laughs> We're having different teas tonight for a change. I'm having super noodles, chicken super noodles, and Martha's having cheesy beans, and then she's just gonna dip bread into it. <laughs> My own choice, I might add. We thought it was going to be raining, so we provisioned for like easy meals, but it's not. <laughs> also, my fire is still going strong. All right, so the rain has just started. It's starting to sprinkle, but we have made it till five past nine. So honestly, I'm not that mad that we're now going to get into bed and have an earlier night, which is probably well needed. Oh, there's an ant in the bed. What are you doing? Oh, Mitch is faffing with the tent because it's too tight, apparently. We're just worried about the sag with the rain. But we'll see how we get on and hopefully have a good night's sleep and then we'll catch you in the morning. Are you happy? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs>